What's up, boys? All right, so for prep, we got two exercises um, that we're gonna do for a minute each on each side of the body. Okay, so the first one is called a banded clam. So what you'll need is one of your lighter mini bands. Trust me, you'll definitely want the lighter one for this. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it just above my knees like so. And then a clam, I have to line on the side, my feet are together, and then I'm lifting all the way up. So I'm fighting for my complete range of motion here. Okay, trying to get that knee all the way in line with my hip like so. As I do that, I'm trying to push this leg down and away. Okay, so I don't want this one to come up with it. I'm pushing them apart from each other. All right, so I got a minute on each side doing that. Okay. And then we're going to keep this off for the next one. And these are called pistol squats. Okay. Um, some one of them assisted pistol squats because I'd rather you guys have, have a bench behind you to reload yourself on. All right, so this leg will be up. I'm sitting down, popping back up. All right, sit down, drive it through, pop back up. So this leg's got to stay nice and straight, toe pointed towards the ceiling, and then you're squatting, sitting down on this opposite side, and then coming back up, okay? So we'll do that for a minute each, again on both sides, and then you repeat this whole thing twice, all right? All right, boys, so for foundation, we're gonna do row holds, okay? Row holds from a straight arm in bent arm position. So what you'll need is again your bench, stool, box, whatever, okay? And then also your resistance band about this tension here. So a little bit on the lighter side. All right, so what the first half rep looks like is this. So let me, let me just say this actually before I do it. Um, a full rep on a single side, so I'm starting with the row on my left side, is holding for eight seconds and then getting eight reps, okay? And then again, I'm gonna hold for eight seconds and get eight reps. So you're gonna end up getting 16 seconds of hold and 16 reps, which will equal one, okay, before you go to the other side. You're doing this entire thing two times, okay? So there's two different positions you do it from. So the first position will be like so. All right, so I'm making sure my hand is directly underneath my shoulder. And then I'm gonna get a full plank here to where I still have a pretty good angle, okay? So I'm still holding myself up here with one arm. It's difficult. And then I'm starting this row hold. So it's eight seconds hold. And then you get eight reps. Eight, and then I hold again. And again. So after you finish what I just did right there, then you do the same thing on the opposite side, okay? As soon as you're finished with that, you got one rep done, so then you go to bent arm, okay? So bent arm is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm setting my arm in straight. Now I'm on the elbow like so, okay? Might have to slide this a little bit lower, just to keep our attention. All right, but again, we're right here, starting off in that plank position. All right, so notice my hips aren't in the air like so. Squeezing my glutes, pushing down like that. Again, hold for eight seconds here. And rep eight times. Eight, and again, hold for eight seconds. And rep eight times. All right, as soon as I finish with that, obviously I do the opposite side, okay? And then I'll go through that one more time, starting with the straight arm, left, right, bent arm, left, right, and then you'll be finished with that. All right, boys, work hard. All right, boys. So this is called kneeling hip thrust with overhead press. So what you'll need is a stronger band, tied low around the post like so. All right, coming down here to my knees. So right around the waist with the band, taking a couple steps forward to where I got some tension right there. All right, if you have a dumbbell, you use something where between 15 and 25 pounds. If you don't, use something like a stack of books, a heavy ball, something 
in that fashion, okay? And then basically what I'm doing is pushing my butt to my heels and then driving straight up, biceps to ear with that press. All right, so you're gonna have 20 of these. Make sure you're not arching your back when you press, you're just coming straight up. Straight up, keep your rib cage nice and close and you got 20 reps, rapid fire, like so, okay? You're gonna have that four times through, all right? Take about a minute in between uh, sets of 20 and make sure you go rapid fire. So as soon as those hips go back, you're firing forward, you're driving up, boom, load and pop, all right? Have fun with it. All right, boys. So for accessory, you're going through five rounds here. And we're going to do 10 reps of each exercise, okay? Um, obviously, if it's unilateral, which means you're doing it on one leg, you do 10 reps on one leg, 10 le reps on the other. All right, if it's bilateral, you're doing it on both sides, just 10 reps in total. All right, so for the first one is banded RDL. So get one of your stronger bands here, okay? We're gonna rise this up, place this around our shoulders, like so. Okay, my feet shoulder width apart, screwing my feet into the floor, and then I'm just hinging at the hips, coming up, nice and explosive. All right, if this 10 feels too easy, obviously you can always add resistance by adding a bigger band or just adding a smaller band to the one that you have. Okay, so I have my 10 reps there. All right, next is Cossack squat. All right, so with that, push this back a little bit. I want you to find somewhere to kind of hang up your bed. All right, or if you can use a pulse or something solid to help keep you upright through these, that's what we want here, okay? So I'm gonna pull down on the band so I have tension. All right, it's keeping me upright. I'm getting nice and wide with the feet. Still have my toes point forward. Fairly so, okay? And then as I push my right knee out, I'm gonna drop depth. I'm getting as low as I can, low as I can, low as I can. Once I get as low as I can, I'm gonna bring up my left toe, okay? So still the side I'm going towards, that heel is still down. It's like a squat on that side, and then I'm bringing up that toe on that opposite side. All right, so you're gonna do 10 on each side for a total of 20. All right, moving on, single leg bridge. We also want that resistance. All right, so you want your bench. All right, if you can't find a rig to use your resistance band for to put over top of your hips, use a weight, use a book, something heavy to kind of help keep you down, okay? Help give you some resistance. So this is what we want here. So I'm putting this right over top of my hips. I got this right over, right underneath my shoulder blades rather. All right, I'm rooting one foot through the floor, my other leg's up, and then I'm just driving, hips and ceiling like so, nice and explosively. Butt touches, get up quick, rope pulls you down, get up quick, boom, 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 okay? So a rapid fire 10 right there. Still try to keep your form as relatively clean as possible to get these reps up quick. All right, so it's 10 on the right, 10 on the left there as well. And then for the last one, I'm again gonna use my bench here. Okay, we're gonna go rear foot elevated sprint and lunge from here. So if, as you guys remember from a couple weeks ago, sprint and lunge, I want to get into that hip hinge position. So I'm pushing my butt all the way back. I'm leaning forward here. And I'm thinking about driving this rear knee, this back knee, all the way to the floor. And then I'm coming back up. So again, we're gonna get 10 of those where your chest is parallel to the floor. I'm hinging at the hips. My butt and hamstrings are getting a lot of activation with this one. All right, so again, 10 on the right, 10 on the left with that one, and you'll repeat this five times through, y'all. All right, let's work hard.